Three, two, one. What's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna be seeing what happens when you unplug your PS5 uh, while you're saving a game. So basically what I'll be doing is I'll boot up a game, I'll do a manual save, and as I'm saving, I'm gonna unplug my PS5 and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm thinking there's probably three different scenarios that happen here. Uh, one, I'm thinking the save file corrupts or deletes itself and just completely messes up and you know your save file is just gone for good. Uh, two, I'm thinking that there's no issue, your save file still pushes through and saves and you know you're saved at your last point um, and somehow it saved it before I turned off the PS5. And three, I'm thinking that maybe it doesn't doesn't corrupt the file, uh, but it doesn't save your latest save. It just you know reverts back to whatever your latest save was before you turned off your PS5. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what exactly I'm, I'm doing here. So I have Spider-Man Miles Morales here. Let's go ahead and boot up this game. And so here it is. I skipped the splash screen, but I, guys, I can't get over how fast these these loading times are. It's just crazy quick. So I have two save files here. The first one is my actual save file, like the game I'm actually playing. I decided to open up a new save file and start a new game just in case something does happen. I don't corrupt all the, the few hours of play I've done. So I have this saved game 2. We'll go ahead and you can do two options. There's continue, which is your latest auto save, or you can do a load game from a manual save that you've done. And the good thing about Spider-Man Miles Morales is you can actually do a manual save, which will help us uh, tremendously in completing this task and doing this uh, doing this test. So let's go ahead and open up my last manual save and we'll start there. All right, so the game's loaded up and basically we're at the cut scene where they're sitting on top of a roof eating a pizza. And so what we're gonna do is you can go to manual save and do a new save. So I've saved a few times manually. We'll do a new saved data. And it saves pretty quick, so we gotta be we gotta be really quick about unplugging the PS5. Now if we click save again, we'll see where our save was. So 10:45 p.m. is the one we just did. And basically, what I want to do now is play a little bit of the game, so I get to a ne the next save point, so that when I do this test, I can see if it reverts back to this cutscene or if it goes back to where I actually saved. Um, and so I'll come back in a minute, and I'll be at a different cutscene hopefully. All right, guys. So I finished that cutscene and kind of swung around a little bit more. Uh, so now if we save here, we should be able to see, when we turn off the PS5, we should be able to see if it saves to this point or if it goes back to the old save um, or if it corrupts everything. And guys, I just got to say, this game looks great, especially when it's snowing. Um, I love how they made it Christmas in the snow uh, for this game. It's pretty sweet. You can kind of swing around and, and see all the Christmas decorations and see all the snow falling. Um, looks even better if you got a 4K OLED TV, um, which is not what I'm showing it on right now, but I do have an L OLED TV, which I highly recommend if you get the money for it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this and let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to go to manual save and let's see, let's make sure we get this right. So the last manual save we did was when they were in that cutscene on the rooftop. And now when we do another manual save, um, we're going to have to unplug the PS5 and see what happens. And I'm hoping it doesn't corrupt anything on my PS5 other than the save file. Um, but i got to figure out a way to do this because we got we got to be quick about this. So I'm going to have to... I think I'm gonna have to put my my controller right next to my PS5 um, power cord so I can do this real quick. I probably, to be honest, I probably won't be able to show the screen um, just because it's gonna be so quick here. So let's put it back here. I'll press X, and as soon as I press X, I'm gonna unplug the PS5 uh, power cord. So let's do this now. Three, two, one. Got it. All right. So that was perfect timing. Um, I got it right when it was in the middle of saving. Now let's go ahead and wait a couple seconds and I'll plug it back in and hopefully nothing too drastic happened. Alright, so the cord is back in. Let's go ahead and turn the console back on. And it is booting up, which is a good sign. Alright, one more development here saying processing and now it's repairing my console storage. So hopefully it's not actually messing anything up. And it looks like the console is booting up. Oh. It says your PS5 wasn't turned off properly. Yeah, I, I know that. Unfortunately, I'm I, I'm taking a risk here. But it does look like it's let me boot back up. Let's go ahead and boot this game back up and see what's going on. All right. So the weird thing is that this game is booting up like it's booting up for the first time, which is a little bit sketchy because. That's not usually what happens because it knows that I've played this game before. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Yeah, usually when it boots up now, it boots straight to the screen, but it kind of showed me some other stuff. Okay, so it still has my first, my first game. 
Um, we have the next one, so let's see. We'll see what we've got here. So I think it was Hold On To Your Web Shooters was the one we did at the cutscene on the rooftop. And actually, Slot 2 Manual Parting Gift, I think, is when I was just sitting on that rooftop that we, I think that's a save we did when I unplugged my PS5. And yeah, I'm just looking, I'm looking at my watch now, and this is definitely the save we just did because it was only three minutes ago. So that's interesting. It looks like it may have actually, nope, aha, it did corrupt. Okay. So it showed me it, but then it said no save data because it's corrupt. And now, that's weird. It like broke the game. <laughs> Let me go ahead and I'll try to close it out and open it back up again. And it's going through the whole boot up process again where it's showing me all the introduction stuff that it doesn't usually show me anymore. Except for after it repaired my console, which is it's really odd. Alright, so on the home screen again, let's go ahead and try to load it again. Go to load game. And so it did get rid of my manual save, but it did leave the last autosave which is to be honest is probably in the same spot because um, I sat on that rooftop for a while but the manual save that we did while we unplugged the PS5 was actually corrupt and kind of broke the game let's try our last manual save which was when we were in that cutscene on the rooftop and yep here it is so I did go back to the cutscene on the rooftop so it actually did come down to one of my three scenarios so if you remember my three scenarios were one it corrupts um, everything and you know just deletes everything which was uh, I was kind of fearful of that at the beginning when it was repairing my console and then it was booting up from scratch and stuff that was a little interesting and then my other theory was that it did everything normally and nothing nothing bad happened which that didn't happen either and the third theory is what actually happened which is where it corrupts your specific save and it lets you go back to your old save um, so that's actually what happened so I guess as a lesson learned uh, something you guys probably should have known since you started playing video games is never intentionally unplug your console while you're saving because um, you know bad things may happen but uh yeah it can definitely do some damage to your game saves at the minimum and and you know if you get really unlucky it may actually damage your console you know every time you you unplug your ps5 without turning off properly it comes up with a repairing your console thing at the beginning um, which i'm not exactly 100 percent sure what it's doing there um, but it is doing something that you know could risk uh messing up your console so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and now you guys don't have to try out this dangerous activity. Uh, you already watched me do it, so now you don't have to ruin your PS5. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future, and have a great day.